Hi guys, welcome to another episode of my Football Manager 2013 series. This episode we're taking on Southampton, um, Premiership match. We have a look at the league table. Southampton currently doing 11th in the league right now. So, considering that I think they got promoted last season from the Championship, they're not doing too bad. Um, obviously we'll, uh, oh what's this? Oh, Malou is unlikely for a call up to France, which, to France, <laughs> which doesn't really surprise me. He's in the reserves. I'm selling him to I think Stuttgart for I think one million pound. So it's, it's not bad. Um, youth players contracts expiring. Uh, by the looks of it, I think all these youth players they're not really worth keeping hold on to really. Um, None of them's really a kind of a standout star, you could say. Oh, Danny Sterling is. I'll do Danny Sterling a new contract. Uh, we'll do a two-year contract. Probably uh, end up terminating it after a year if he starts to improve by then. Uh, Man City going after Leighton Baines. I think Man United. Uh, Interest in Leighton Baines as well. Right, this is someone who I was interested in, but looking at his stats, to be honest, nah, I've changed my mind. Uh, Talbin, Aim. Hmm, don't know yet. Flamini. We can approach to sign Flamini. That's alright, how much is he? You want him? Just gonna have a quick look at Flavini's stats and see if he's. Hmm. Not bad. What's his? No, he's not bad. I will uh, go in to try and sign him. I'd rather have him on the field than uh, John Obi Mikel. Oh, shit. Right, by the looks of it, I'm going to need to increase the, uh, the amount of wages that I've got right now. Um, staff. We'll offer all the staff's new contracts. I'm not really interested in uh, kind of having a switch around of uh, the staff that I've got simply because I've got a good set already here there's not much point in me adding to that or taking away from it and kind of upsetting the balance so it's really a case of if it isn't broke don't try to fix it just uh, I know you can get your assistant to deal with uh, contracts for coaches and scouts and so on but I like to do it myself because I can see roughly on how good um, all my staff are Nearly got that done. Uh, contract, off a new contract. And the last one, Joe Edwards. We're coming up to the uh, transfer market soon as well. That's nearly reopening. Um, shit. Okay. Flamini. We'll increase his appearance. That should hopefully do it in goal bonus if it gets goal bonus. And team of the year. If he gets team of the year, you can have that as well. Awesome. Transfer targets. Puyol, he's a player that I am interested in signing. I know it's unlikely to sign him, but hopefully we can. Uh, one million pound loyalty. Agent 500. He's on 120 at Barcelona. Shit. 283. I'll probably reject it. Yeah. Once 115. 96. 115. <laughs> Still. Oh, 
Awesome. See, so Puyol is a bit of a gamble. Um, shit, I'll just double check how long the contract is. Yeah, it'll be a year contract. Oh. No, Puyol. <sighs> God. Right, okay. Hopefully we'll sign Puyol. Um I think he's worth the uh, the one year Buffon. Normally I'd I would try to go for Buffon, but I've got Petr Cech and obviously some good uh, goalkeeping on loan, so sign him Oh crap. Right, okay. <laughs> I need to create more wages. Um, there we go. That should that should help us out a little bit. Fernando Lorente, a player who I've been watching for a long time, who I have wanted to sign for quite a while. Crap. Okay. Uh, in terms of wages, I don't think we can really kind of offer um, to try and sign players for the wages that they want right now, simply because we haven't got a great deal of wages available. But hopefully, with Maluda leaving, that will then create an extra hundred thousand off the wage budget, or sixty thousand, because we still have to pay. Um, I think it's forty. Forty-five thousand pound or something until the end of this season, and then after that he is then Stuttgart's problem. Uh, we'll do Asbukuta on the left again. He's doing all right so far. Uh, Ramirez on the right. Andre Ayu. Whether or not in terms I'm going to rest certain players I'm not sure uh, we are playing against Southampton they're, they're not a fantastic team so I think in theory we should not have a, have this match as a walk in the park but still do well um, yeah well, the starting lineup for this match: Czech, Azbukuta, David Luiz, Cahill, Ivanovic, Andre Ayu, Ramirez, Marin, Mata, Oscar, and Torres, and on the bench: Ross Turnbull, Ferreira, Romanu, Lampard, Hazard, Sturridge, and Jordan Ayu. Let's do this. Got a very high morale right now. Uh, Southampton using the same formation as we are. Morale not bad there as well. Passionately. No reaction. Cahill, Louise, and Asbaku to look happy. Um, Ramirez, Oscar, and Matt to look happy. Torres looks happy. So a good, uh, a good first, first team talk to start the match off. Oh, Marin's been booked within two minutes. Good start. Corner, Mata, David Luiz scores. Fantastic, good start. First goal of the season for uh, David Luiz. Good corner by Mata. Awesome. Very nice. I think out of um, the whole of Southampton's team, uh, Gaston Ramirez is the best player. Or oh, Asbukuta intercepts. Andre Ayu. Oh, Matt has somehow got possession of Marin. Marin's running with it. That was a good run. Poor finish. Corner. Marin. Oh, goalkeeper gets it.
Oh, someone's been injured. Andre has been injured. Damn. Uh, in that case, we'll get Lampard on. Actually, no, we'll bring Rome a new one. He hasn't had a chance in the first team in a while. Um. So far, things are going pretty well, I think. 1-0 win. Well, <laughs> say 1-0 win. 1-0 up. Uh, hopefully we can get a second just before half-time. Oscar. Torres in the box. Oh. Hit the post and literally went across the goal line. Damn. Not a bad first half so far. Uh, right, we'll go assertive. As Baku looks happy. Uh, Matter looks happy. Torres is fired up. Torres is having a 6.0 rating right now, so he's not really doing great, really. Uh, Lambert got a deflection. They've got a free kick, Torres. Oh, might have got talking to by the ref. Cork to Klein. Klein in the box. Asbukuta clears, good interception. Marin with possession. Pass couldn't find Torres. Torres is really chasing the ball. Matter to Marin. Good shot. 2-0. This is going good. In terms of opportunity wise, we're dominating. We've hit the woodwork twice. <laughs> Marin, good running. I think keeper gets a hand to it, but not enough. It's looking good so far. Uh, David Luiz, Mata, and Marin are looking all looking confident. Oh, I thought Lambert might have just got the ball then. Ivanovic to Oscar to Ramirez back to Ivanovic. Ramirez and Ivanovic and Oscar just kind of paying the ball in between themselves. Keep possession, which is a good thing. Good pass to Mata. Oh, Torres, fantastic. See, this is interesting now, because Torres is starting to do well, and we've got uh, Falcao joining us in, like, a few days. So, hmm, choices, choices. 3-0 up, this is a good uh, a good result so far. If, if his score stays the same, I'm quite happy with that. I'd rather us win 3-0 than win 4-1, at least with that 3-0. We keep a clean sheet as well as doing well, so. Back to check. Asbaku is doing pretty well on the left. I think, um, yeah, I'm not really looking for a left back at this moment in time now that I know Asbaku can do pretty well in that position. I think he'll probably get more football on the left than he will on the right. Marin, what's he going to do with it? Whips it in. Oscar, lovely. 4 0. Someone needs to throw Southampton's uh, goalkeeper a life jacket because he's just drowning right now. Fantastic. Uh, oh crap, Matt is 51. Right, we're going to have to bring him off. We'll put Lampard on for Matter. And who else is looking tired? Cahill. I'm going to bring Cahill off. Uh, I'm going to have Ivanovic into the centre where Cahill's position is. And then substitute Cahill for Ferreira. And Ferreira will be on the right. But this is uh, it's looking good. A lot of players are looking confident. Um, I think confidence does boost, but... oh. That was unlucky. Oh god, Ivanovic has been oh Ivanovic has been sent off. Oh Ivanovic. Dear oh dear. Right in that case we'll push uh Romanu from the centre midfield into defence. Uh gotta bring Lampard from the centre attacking into the uh centre midfield. Um 
we'll try two deep lane playmakers. Don't know what the effect will be, but crap. So Ibrahim. Oh, I nearly said Ibrahimovic again. <laughs> Ivanovic. Um, it's most likely going to get a ban. Torres has picked up a knock. He's on 61% health condition. Good interception by David Luiz. Southampton changed to a 4-2-4 and it's all over. We won. Yay. Uh, we'll have a look at the opportunities first. Um, Southampton in the second half did have more opportunities than they did in the first. Um, they had three half chances, so I'm surprised that they didn't score in terms of half chances. 56% possession, 71% um, pass completion. Their tackling was very high, 83% to our 60%. Headers won 68% to 53%. The average rating for a player on Southampton's team this match was 6.27. Average rating for a player on our team this match was 7.77. <laughs> Good job it went 6.66. Um, but yeah, for team talk, I think we'll go with a passion because I'm, I'm happy with the result. Very happy. Um, everybody looks delighted. Who got the man of the match? Marin got man of the match 8.9 rating. Torres 8.1. Mata 8.6. Oscar 8.1. David Luiz 8.8. .8, so a number of key players performed really well that match. Very happy with that result. Um, Good cool results. Tottenham beat Arsenal 3 0. Fulham beat Sunderland 4 1. Liverpool drew 2 2 with Aston Villa. Man City beat Wigan 4 1. Newcastle beat Stoke 4 1. QPR won against Swansea 3 0. Man United beat Reading 4 1. West Brom beat Norwich 1 0. And Lukaku scored again. Uh, West Ham beat Everton 2 1. Ivanovic banned for one match. Warning. I think that's fair. Right, Matt wants a new deal. Right, okay, let's talk. Uh, Matt's current deal is on 67,000. Um, it's one in 89, but I just don't have funds there but I will eventually um oh crap what's this shin splits right, we'll send it to a specialist um I will get round to offering matter a new contract it's just a case of getting the wages there available great result um Matt of concern, right. Right, okay, he's accepted my challenge. Matt has accepted my challenge to prove that he deserved a new contract by performing well on the pitch. Ivanovic has accepted his warning, which, you know, it's good that he's being a man about it, not being a bitch. Um, our next match is against Fulham. Uh, that's away. The league table. Where's Fulham in the league table? Can't find my Fulham are sixth. Fulham are sixth in the table. Um, in terms of top three, Man City in third place, uh, 19 games with 38 points. We're second with 18 games, 39 points. Man United are uh, top of the league with uh, 20 games played, 42 points. We do have two games in hand over Man United, so if we can win both of them games, we will then go to three points clear of Man United in first place. But um, yeah, I'd just like to thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. Please like, comment and subscribe and let me know what you guys think. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys for the game against Fulham. Take care guys.